good morning and uh, welcome to video 3 on this uh, gauss numerical so if you see the part c in part c the electric field has been changed to minus 4i plus 6 plus 3yj and in the previous part the electric field was 3yj it was a non uniform electric field but now if you see carefully the field has become in two parts one is a fixed part the other is a variable part because the variable part has y written with it now many students would do this numerical in a standard way where they do you know they take each of the surface of the cube and find the flux through it using the concept of uh, vector algebra right so i mean that's a correct way of doing nothing wrong with that but you would waste waste a lot of time instead let me tell you a concept if you have a cube and a constant you, you know uniform field which i have rewritten as minus 4i plus 6j and you calculate the flux passing through a cube because of a constant field like minus 4i plus 6j part of this you would find the net flux because of this is zero because it cancels out right there is no y so electric field does not vary therefore what you're left with is only the variable part of the field which is 3yj and therefore the net flux again comes out to be 8.23 so in the part a also the flux was same and in part c the flux is same and we exploited the concept slow down the video stop the video and read the concept very carefully thank you